State Senate begins budget debate on Monday. You're looking at the state auditor, Diana DeZogula. She says her office is being retaliated against. She says because she wants to audit the state legislature, the Senate isn't funding her office appropriately. Surprised or not surprised by these developments, Marianne? We predicted it on this Amen. show. We so did. let me repeat what I think yeah. again. Um, Diana DeZoglio is very good at going after her opponents, real or imagined. She could do a better job making the case for her and her office and her agenda if she did it as well as she went after her opponents. Jenny? She should. No, that's a, that's a decent analysis. Of course, they were not going to fund her um, given that she's challenging them. And, you know, this is what happens when you have all Democrats in charge on Beacon Hill. We but need some good Republicans back up there. The House did fund her, though. Yes, they did. But again, we predicted it. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> also on the table, a policy that would allow high school students without legal immigration status to qualify for in-state tuition rates at public colleges and universities. Right call, Ginny? Yes, right call. This is the least of our worries when it comes to immigration, given what's going on at our border. Miriam, yeah, what do you think? Not, not only that, and I agree with Jenny, the broken immigration and citizenship process is what's led to this. These children and their families have participated in our society in every single way. Let them attend. Well, this brings us to our Mother's Day version of Best of Worst <laughs> Week. Ginny, we'll let me start with you. Best worst, of Worst. Worst week for the Boston Globe for running a full-page ad by RFK Jr.'s presidential campaign and uh, supporters. This guy has done single-handedly more to undermine vaccines than anyone in our country. Shame on the globe. Worst week, CNN, the most trusted name in news, is no more after giving Donald Trump an hour to spew lies and propaganda just to get 3.1 million viewers for ratings. Shameful and a threat to that, our that, that turned out to be a 70-minute program. They, they actually went a, a few minutes longer than just an hour. No, they were supposed to go longer. They were supposed they to go longer and they cut it. Numbers weren't great. What, what, was, that a, was that a move by CNN, in your opinion, to attract viewers? Or what, what, where was the play? Because he's screaming that they're fake news for years and now he's sitting on... This is 2016 again. They're playing for ratings and CNN didn't get him. It's a lose-lose. He is a Republican front runner, though, so you do have to cover him. You Jenny. do, and they have a tricky decision down the road. All the networks do because right. this isn't going to change. He's going to be right. who he is. How they, he is covered needs you to be addressed. It's a tough line addressed. to walk. Yeah, but you can cover him without giving an hour to do propaganda. There, 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 there has to be a smart play in there where you can fact check in real time and and present the the the. The challenges to him in CNN real time. CNN has the best fact ch checker in the business, and he was MIA that night. MIA that MIA. night. MIA. MIA. Right. Not one of you picked the Celtics for best of worst weeks. <laughs> we'll they played this afternoon, game seven, you know. They played today, game seven, you know. Happy Mother's Day. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. right. what our daughter said. Ma, Day. happy Mother's Day. I'm going to go watch the Celtics. <laughs> Folks, thank you for joining us, and remember, every Sunday we go on the record in Happy Mother's Day.